Get along, get along, get along, my faithful high boy. We're traveling on the trail that's never been. Get along, get along, get along, don't let me, why boy. We're ahead for the trail that never ends. You be here, you be here today. Gone tomorrow, but back home we'll find our way. You be here, you be here, you be What's the matter, bud? We've been held up. Well, what happened to the shotgun messenger? Johnny, he's inside. Dead. Andy, get the marshal. Sure, let's go. Johnny, Johnny, where's Johnny Clay? Uh, looks like poor Johnny's taking his last ride. Hey, marshal, the base from Calico Creek's been held up. Where? I don't know. Where did it happen, Roscoe? Oh, I don't know, Eddie. I couldn't get anything out of Bud, the driver. Where he's is kind of mixed up. Well, where is he? Well, he's in the store. But nobody understands. He was my best friend. Oh, Bud, I know it's been hard on you. They did it right before my eyes. Glover? Yes, sir. I'd get a, I'd like to get a report from you. Well, two highwaymen held us up. They had a clean drop on us. We didn't have a chance. Johnny Clay went for his pistol. He shouldn't have. One robber fired and killed him. Johnny didn't even get in a shot. Well, I guess that's all. Is it? What do you mean? I want to get a full report from you. Bud? Well... Not now. A little later. I'm kind of mixed up. Yes, I know you are. But I want to get a full report before you forget any of the details. You didn't tell me where it happened? Uh, about the gun, uh, about the messenger, or anything like that? Sure, but, but later, i got to go take care of Johnny. Roscoe will do that. Troy, Sala, let's go to my office. You can meet us there afterwards, Roscoe. Oh, sure, Marshal, sure. You never saw either one of these men before. No, sir. No, it, it isn't that one either. Well, that's the third holdup on the Calico Creek run. But they never killed anybody before. I know Johnny Clay was a good friend of yours. He bunked with me. But I'll get the man who killed him. One way or the other, I'll get him. That's the law's job. But you can help. Next door clothes sure are pretty. What do you say? How about that new fangled saddlebag? Genuine carpet. I hear folks in the East walks on carpet like that. Oh, it's too pretty to walk on. Now, if you fellas are quite sure you've satisfied your curiosity, I'd like to ask a question. He wants to ask a yeah. question. <laughs> I thought them hard hats held brains instead of questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, break it up. Say, come over here a minute, fella. Need some help, stranger? Well, I don't know about help, but I'd like a little information. Well, just ask me then. I'm Deputy Marshal, general owner of the store, and the express company's agent. And what I don't know, well, I figure nobody else will know either. <laughs> well, then you can tell me where I can find Johnny Clay. Johnny Clay, what? Well, uh, just this morning, Johnny. Ah, uh, that's a funny thing. <laughs> you ask it about him. Well, what's so <laughs> funny about it? Well, come to think of it, I don't guess it's so funny at that. You see, uh... Just a minute. Now, what's up? You know Johnny Clay? I should. 
I'm his brother. Uh. This is sort of a surprise visit. You see, I'm from Philadelphia. All the way from Philadelphia? <laughs> well, what do you know? Say, how's things back there? Why, are you from Philadelphia? No, nope, I just, uh, just was wondering if it was still there, that's all. Well, I couldn't tell you because I came in the way of Dallas, Texas. No, you're fooling. You know something? I know another fella once that had an accent. He caught it, you see, just like yours, trying to get across the state of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> now, how about my question? Uh, well, that's, uh, that's a kind of hard to answer, stranger. Well, will you tell me where my brother is or not? Well... I'm sorry to tell you, but Johnny Clay was shot this morning. But uh, you just uh, stick around for a while, and I'll tell you everything that happened. Howdy, bud. Howdy, fine day, ain't it? Cal, you said nobody was going to get hurt. Don't know nothing about it. That don't go. You want him to hear you? Walk over here. Just like you say. I want to know who it was. I don't know myself. They don't t let me in on the jobs. Well, I'm going to find out. And I'll kill him with my bare hands if I get a chance. Look, you're in this as deep as yes, a killer. Yes, but you said that I wouldn't have... Quit crying, will you? If you'd have kept that hard-headed kid from drawing, he wouldn't have gotten shot. But that don't make any difference. The boss has got enough on you to hang you. Well, I'm going straight. You might have was. Right now, you're a stage driver that's mighty valuable to us in hold-up. Savvy? All I savvy is... There's a man I'm going to kill. I'll tell the boss. Maybe he'll let you in on the secret of who done it. Well, howdy, Mr. Thomas. Have a seat. Marshal, I hear that a lot of my gold has been stolen. Yours? Well, gold from the mine that I superintend. Yes, and a fine young man has been killed. I want to know exactly what you intend to do about it. If I did know exactly, I wouldn't tell you. Do you have any ideas? Yes, quite a few. Mr. Thomas, we're going to do our best to find the killer and to prevent any more holdups. It's a big loss to you, I know. But it's a bigger loss to the express company.
Can't you fellas stop that? Do you have to keep it up? The boys didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry, Marshal. It's just that, well, you see, Eddie was the head of the family, and I just got to find his murderer somehow. Well, I've got to get a manifest fixed up for the next stage. <laughs> Wait. Have you hired a new express messenger yet? No. Nope. Takes a good man, and he ain't come along yet. Well, you're looking at the right man. You? <laughs> That's no guarantee you'll find the man you're looking for. Well, what would you like in a guard anyway? Oh, courage, honesty, and above all, a good shot. Marshal, may I borrow one of your guns? Certainly. Thank you. Nice weapon. Good balance, too. Gentlemen, that bottle out there. Hey, look Well, what do you know? Say, Davy, you're the new shotgun messenger. Well, when do I get my first job? We start rolling tomorrow. We? Yes, I didn't tell you, Roscoe, but the district office said we had to clean out the road agents. Well, Eddie, heck, why? We can't be on all the roads. That's what I told them. They said, then get on the stages and ride them. Well, I'll be... Oh, Marty, I want to thank you for going riding with me, Miss Ruth. Oh, why thank me? I enjoyed it as much as you. Well, I, I haven't had much of a chance to see you lately. Well, you know Uncle Roscoe's been keeping me pretty busy. And then there's that poor Mr. Clay. He's been keeping you mighty busy, too, hasn't he? But how can you say that? You of all people should want to make things easier for him. If only for Johnny's sake. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Forget it. Now I have to get home. Well, you uh, ride shotgun, messenger, and Roscoe and I'll spell each other's drivers. Right. Yes, sir, and with you two fellas on the top of that box, there's sure going to be a drop in the bandit market. <laughs> well, I'll do my best, Marshal. I know you will. Have you learned anything new? No, but we're putting on a campaign against road agents. And I'm the new express mer uh, messenger. Well, you can't do that. Why, Teddy? After Johnny was killed? Are you crazy? I just don't want the same thing to happen to him. It won't. I can take care of myself. Besides, you ain't hiring him. Yes, sir. And Eddie and me is going to do some of the driving, too. Something wrong with the way I've been handling the teams? No, it's just a temporary measure till we clean things up. Tomorrow, Davy Clay and I take out the stage. Nothing to do with the switch. If anything goes wrong, the boss is going to be awful sore. Who is this boss, anyway? I'll bet you wish you knew. I don't want anything more to do with you fellas. Look, you'll do as you're told to go to the pen for life. How's that? Not over yet. You know, most of the hold hopes happen down on the Calico Creek. Down the road a little ways. Hey, do you see a man down there? No. I don't see any man down there yet. If we should get held up, Marshal, do you think that uh, we should ride on through or try to stop and try to shoot it out? I figure we should ride on through and then shoot and then stop. Pick up what's left of the bandit. There is a man down there. Let him have it, David. Try your pistol. Whoa! Whoa! Well, there's one bandit that will... Re You take them. I'll take them. Oh, buddy. Oh, I got myself one there. 
And that's the way we're handling the situation, Mr. Thomas. This is the plan you kept so secret? I didn't want to talk about it until I'd first tried it. Now, speaking as a citizen, I think you should spend your time in town. There's lots to attend to. But the law can't be everywhere. But you're right. Now, with the roads reasonably safe, my deputy and I turn the jobs back to the regular crews. Well, that's good. Very good. Say, I noticed that you haven't been shipping out any large amounts of gold lately. Well, I wanted to give you time to tighten up matters. However, the mine will be shipping again soon. Very soon. Any other information I can give you? No, thank you. I'm just happy to see things going so well. For whom? Why, for everyone. Not for Johnny Clay. He's been killed, and the man who shot him is still alive. There's nothing to it, bud. I'll have no part of it. The boss says you will. I'm on the up and up now. Look, let's get it straight. Once a crook, always a crook. Not for me. Now, the boss looks at it this way. The marshal's wiping out most of the gang. Some of the best men in the country, too. Listen, who is this boss, anyway? You'll find out sooner than you expect. Right now, he's out getting the lowdown on one last big haul that'll make us all rich. Not me. All I want is to get my hands on the man that killed Johnny. <laughs> that was a kind of a tough break. It wasn't your fault. Just the way the cards run. Like, for instance, you're kind of sweet on Roscoe's knees, ain't you? Leave her out of this. I don't know. It's like I say. It's the way the cards run. Look for yourself. Ain't no, ain't no use going against the cards. Ain't no use going against the cards. Listen, I don't want to have anything to do with you guys. They get out of here, and that's true. Well, that's okay with me, too. It isn't Thomas. Nobody but. Shows you how smart we've been. I don't know about that. Welcome to the gang, bud. Is he the man who, who killed Johnny? Ask him. Don't be such a weak sister. I had no intentions of shooting your pal. It was his own fault. What's the deal, boss? I have a great idea. What's my part of it? You, kid? You're the tip-off man. advice in it about women. Oh, you don't have to worry none about me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up, Eddie. Oh. <laughs> well, Roscoe, is this the way you run an express agency? <laughs> well, no, well, you see, I, I was, uh, well, I, I was just, well, well, I was, uh, wasn't I? Yes, if you're asking me, very playful. <laughs> now, if you could attend to some business, my men just brought this shipment of gold in from the mine. Yeah. When can I get it out to Nugget City? Oh, oh, not until the noon stage tomorrow. You're a little early with this gold, aren't you? Well, yes, you see, I want to get it off my hands. If it's stolen, that's very common around here, I don't want to be responsible. Oh, meaning that the Lefty Express Company be responsible, That's huh? right. I see. And the Eastern Mine owners aren't blaming me. Uh -huh. mm, that's pretty smart. Yeah. I think so, Marshal. But now let's get it weighed up and uh, sign it on your manifest. Oh, yes, sir, we've got to do that. Say, how much you think you got? All the way, some 
We're close to $80,000. Yeah, close to $80,000. $80,000? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. $80,000. Ooh, ooh. I know. Say, Eddie, are you going to ride the stage down to Nugget City with this uh, white elephant of a gold shipment? Maybe I will, and maybe not. I think Bud and Dave can handle it all right. You don't think they'd try to take it tonight? Well, him and me here. Yeah. <laughs> not with many me on the job, sonny boy. Well, it'll just be you, because I'm going home. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah, big day tomorrow. Good night, Ruthie. Good night, Marshal Dean. Don't be up too late. I won't. I'll be on that box tomorrow. I'll go out the back way. Yeah, all right, Eddie. Isn't the Marshal wonderful? Well, I think you're wonderful. And pretty, too. Oh, you're not supposed to say that. Say, uh, Ruthie, would you like to take a little walk in the moonlight? The fresh air will do us good. Oh, I'd love to. Uncle Roscoe, may I go out for a while, please? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Well, but looks like that leaves just you and me. Yeah, that's right. Well, I, I guess I ought to go, too. Well, oh, I'm really getting sleepy. Me too. Well, goodbye. Goodbye? Well, I'll see you in the morning. Are you crazy? <laughs> but I don't understand. Please, Ruthie, there isn't time to explain to you. Now, you go in and stay with Miss Johnson like Roscoe wants you to, and I'll duck around the back way and see you in the store later. All right, if you insist. Now, who does he think he's fooling? How's it, kid? Well, speak up. They don't suspect anything. The marshal's gone home and Roscoe's in bed. And the clay boy? He's going out with Ruth. <laughs> That'll be enough of that. I was just thinking they won't be back for quite a spell. Well, that's good. Then we'll carry on as planned. If we can break in with no fuss, fine. If not, we fight. Just the three of us? Look behind you. Well, Eddie, you think something's going to pop today? I don't know, Roscoe. I feel like something's in the air, so we better get ready. Yeah. Hey, Roscoe. Do you feel like something's gonna pop? Yeah. I feel something in the air. So, so, uh, so we better get get ready. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I got Ruthie out of the way, all right. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I left her right on Miss Johnson's doorstep. Good. Wait, not now. That's Ruth in the line of fire. Shut up, you fool. That's her hard luck now. Stop it. Davy, your brother. He was killed by, by Thomas. They had something on me. I tried to get Johnny in on the deal, but he wouldn't play. He was a good square game kid. I think we have given up. What? I think one of us given up. Yeah, right there's where I get me another one. Well, David, there's the man you've been looking for. How does he look? Perfectly natural. Oh, poor Bud. Ruthie, if I could go back and save his life, even if I never found out who killed Johnny, I'd be glad to do it. Eddie, how did you ever figure out that Bud was all haywire? Well, I wasn't sure, Roscoe, but I knew he was lying when he told me about the holdup. So I watched him, and he led me to Cal in the gang. Uh -huh. I never noticed that. It's my job to notice things like that. Uh -huh. Say, how would you like to go out in the kitchen and have a nice cold drink of water? Why out in the kitchen? Well, I never noticed that. Well, you see, Eddie, that's my job to notice things like that. <laughs> get along, get along, get along, my faithful high boy. We're traveling on the trail that never ends. Get along, get along, get along, don't ask me why, boy. We're heading for a trail that never ends. Yippee, yippee, here today. Come tomorrow, but back home we'll find our way. Yippee, 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 don't you find? Technical director was Erwin Stanton.
The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in Hollywood, has been presented to you by video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.